Yeah, you know, a lot of credit to Iowa. They're they're really difficult to defend, and uh, you know, obviously, I, you know, my my plan for Cricky uh, was not a very good plan. Uh, I put our guys in a tough spot, and then he got going, and we had a hard time slowing him down. I thought we made Sanford's looks uh, relatively difficult, and made sure he didn't get a lot of them. Um, but you know, we ha we have to be better defensively than we were tonight, but. You know, having said that, the, the way we executed offensively to start the second half to create some separation was a difference in the game. Uh, you know, a lot of contributions from a lot of different guys, including guys off the bench, Frederick King and, and, and Bello, uh, did a terrific job. So um, it's, it's good that we could uh, find a way to get a win. Uh, but, you know, we've got to get to that film room on Thursday and, and, and learn and pay attention and get a little bit better. Uh, it, is, it is only the third game of the year. Questions for the student athletes first. Okay. How, when you look at the way Fred and Bello and even Isaac, it's a big shot off the bench, especially early when it felt like you were chasing the game a little bit. How much did they help just steady things, let you guys settle in, start getting flowing? Uh, yeah, it makes everybody's job on the court a lot easier. Uh, I think that we have faith in those guys to come in and do their jobs, and I think that Bello came in and gave us an instant spark. Isaac came in and did what he did. Uh, so, I mean, for those guys to come in and, and and really just perfect their role and really just give us a boost off the bench is big for us because uh, that depth is going to is going to help us down the, down the road and we know that we're going to have to put some trust in these guys and for them to showcase that in the in the game where we didn't play our best but they were playing playing very well it just it just showcases how how hard they work and how much they want to help this team win when you started um, initiating more and playing more on the one uh, what were you trying to do from a tempo standpoint to Make sure you guys are getting the kind of shots you want, the pace you want, but also not letting Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's just what we do in practice situations. Uh, you got to know time and possession. Uh, I think down the stretch, uh, we knew that we could slow it down and we could get us a good shot because they were they were kind of hard hedging those ball screens, so somebody's going to be open. And so I felt like we got some good shots down the stretch that we wanted. Not all of them went, but uh, I trust guys to make those shots uh, every time down. So. For us, to, for us to get down in those type of situations and for us to um, make the right plays, make the extra plays big for us, and I think, of course, I think we're going to make them down the stretch. You had twice as many assists as a team in the second half as you did in the first half. What clicked there? Uh, I think I think it just had a lot lot to do with our game plan coming out of half. Uh, Matt came in there. He told us he wanted to get to a lot of different doubles. Obviously, you want to get Ryan Cogburn involved early, and I think us him running the floor at the beginning of the half is what really helped us. So we got we're able to get it up to him quick, and also him sealing. So uh, a lot of kudos to Ryan Cogburn, but our game plan coming out of the half was was very much to to make that extra pass and get into some doubles and you know make the defense move a little bit. Three more for the students. Trey, I know you had a, a lot of offseason work when it came to. Working with playmaking, I mean, what do you think you showed tonight with your ability to both score and to create for others? Uh, I think it's just all a part of winning. Uh, I think just just playing the way that I know how, just being a basketball player, it really doesn't have to come down to me trying to play make. Uh, it's just me making the basketball play. And I mean, obviously, guys are making making shots. If I have nine assists, so kudos to my teammates. They're making shots uh, when I pass it to them, and uh, uh, kudos to Mac for putting me in the right position. Yeah, I mean, uh, of course, coming off the bench, I always try to bring whatever we're we're missing. Uh, especially like seeing it from the outside, I think it's it's easier to see what we're missing. Uh, I mean, just a play. I think it was actually Trey, the one that gave me the ball. Every time he passes it, he he trusts our teammates like every time, and not not only him, but everybody just encourage each other, uh, like knock it down or whatever. So. Um, they, give, they give me the confidence, the coaching staff gives me the confidence. I mean, it felt good, uh, and I'm glad it, it gives us like a little spark that we were, we were missing. What were you thinking uh, when you went up to the free throw line? The Iowa made its little push there at the end, and uh, you had a couple free throws to, to make there to make it a seven point game again. I mean, just, you know, we work on our free throws every day, uh, kind of take my time, uh, get into my routine, and, and knock them down. That, that was basically what was, what was going through my mind. I mean, what's what did you feel like when you feel like you were comfortable with the rotation you had tonight with what you were getting from Fred and Bello and Isaac and those guys, you know, that you could extend a little bit more and ride the pod? 
Yeah, yeah, Fred, you know, Fred, Fred was a little bit by necessity because of Kalk's foul trouble, but to Fred's credit, he went out there. He was very, very active. Uh, you know, got behind the defense a couple of times, and you know he's been struggling shooting and the free throws. He's worked really hard on that, uh, and stepped up and made his free throws. So uh, it's just going to be, you know, it's going to be different guys every night. You kind of ride the hot guys, and and Bella was playing well, so he played a little bit more than Steven tonight. Matt, was um, was that what you envisioned uh, for, for for Trey when when he came back uh, last spring, and you guys talked about? Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's he, he's he's good with the ball in his hands, and and uh, you know, we the the good thing for me is he's versatile enough. He can play with the ball or without the ball, um, and you know, he's he's got size to see over some stuff. He made some great reads uh, in ball screens, made some great reads in transition, and uh, you know, he gets gets a, eleven rebounds and almost you know a triple double uh, with nine assists. How, how did he get control of the game? Because, you know, it's felt like Iowa would have had. Well, I mean, we just outscored them. That's really what it came down to, let's be honest. I mean, we scored on 20 of our first 25 possessions the second half. I mean, that's those are video game numbers. Um, and, you know, we to Iowa's credit, you know, we shot twice as many threes as they did. You know, they, they want to shoot threes. We want to shoot threes. Uh, you know, we had almost double, we had 20 more points in the paint than they did. So what does that mean? It means we forced them into a lot of mid-range shots, and they made a lot of mid-range shots. Congratulations. I mean, sometimes that's going to happen. And, uh, you know, we, I thought we did a good job the last six or seven minutes of the first half of, of changing our coverage a little bit to get back to Cricky. Uh, to their credit, Fran made some really nice adjustments coming out of halftime, the way he moved him around where it was really hard to get back to him. Uh, so, you know, we don't, you know, we, we try to force teams into mid range shots. It's not a secret. And tonight they made them. And that's uh, obviously, you know, we had to score 92 to win. Mac, what, what did you learn about your team? I mean, you play this caliber of competition versus the first couple of games that you played. Uh, I mean, does this does this answer any questions, or did you pretty much know what you had uh, without? No, there's you know it's it's still November. There's a ton of questions. You know, like uh, you know we're we're still trying to incorporate two new starters. Um, you know, one guy off the bench that that hasn't played for us before. We're we're playing a freshman a little bit off the bench. Um, you know, so there's a lot of there's a lot of growth left in this team, and and we're far from a finished product. And uh, but you know, defensively we have to be better. You know, offensively we showed what we're capable of the second half, scoring a lot of different ways. Um, but we we have to be better than that defensively. We know that, and you know, we'll get to the film room on Thursday. And I think this group is mature enough, even in victory, uh, to take a hard look at that film and self reflect and figure out how we have to get better. Two more, coach. Transit. Transition was phenomenal, like you said, but rim running and call for rim running, was that a message in that? Like yeah, well, we had to get some stops, you know, and it's hard to do that against Iowa. They were they were really good. We really weren't ever really to, able to grab the momentum the first half, and we finally were able to early in that second half. We got some stops, called, blocked a few at the rim, and that kind of started our fast break, got us out going in transition. And, you know, he had some great rim runs, you know, and, and the blessing in disguise of his foul trouble, he was a little fresher. And, you know, he was a little more rested and was able to run. So when we get that kind of production uh, out of Frederick, I, you know, I, obviously the, the combination of what those two accomplished tonight was really good. Offensively, how do you get off to a faster start? This is the second game of the road, you started a little slow. Yeah, you know, I don't know. I, I have to go look and see the shots. You know, we scored, I guess we scored nine points the first six possessions. Uh, but like I said, we, we turned it over a few times, like, really kind of self-inflicted turnover, some soft passes, and that got Iowa out in transition and running. Fortunately, we, you know, we defended at least decently the first 20 possessions of the game, so it never really got away from us. Um, had we defended like we did in the second half, we'd have been in big trouble. We'll do one more question. Uh, just, you guys won, the, obviously, despite the, the last 639 make a field goal. I mean, just is that speak to kind of the veteran presence of your guys that are able to win even when they don't have their best? Yeah, we, yeah we, we got it down. You know, Trey got to the rim twice. Uh, and, you know, I thought those are plays he normally finishes. So we kind of – we had a couple – Baylor had an open three on a, on a side out-of-bounds play. Uh, so we kind of got the shots we wanted. Um, but it's, it's not ideal. It's not great for my heart probably when, when that happens. You'd like to be able to put somebody away. But, again – 
we won the game. It's great film to go back and watch and learn and grow from and, and get ready for Tuesday or Saturday, whatever the hell day it is. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thanks.